You said in my photograph I looked more far away I laughed and smiled and didn't say I am a bit afraid so Sure enough, she's taking be. an acting workshop. Isn't it crazy? So here's a climate scientist taking an acting workshop because she wants to, because she's speaking all over the world and she wants to be more connected with people she speaks with. So of course, and then flying back, who should be sitting right next to me? She was. <laughs> you know, which made me really excited. But she was like asleep the whole time, so I didn't really get to talk to her. And she was one of those sleepers who was like leaning way forward, so it was really complicated. But anyway, so here's the interesting thing. I was talking to her, and I had one of these crisis of faith moments because I thought to myself, is what I'm doing really, is this, does this really matter? Is what I'm doing, yes, breathe through it. Does it really matter what I'm doing? Does it have any significance to the world? Does it mean something? And these are things that I've been grappling with for me personally for the last few months. It's been a really tumultuous space, headspace for me. Whatever, it's dramatic. But, you know, making a difference. So I was talking to her, and when you hear somebody who's really dealing with real global issues, kids, can't be in denial about it. There's no doubt that it's, we're already seeing the effects of it, and if we don't get ourselves in order, we're gonna see long form ramifications of it. But I'm not here to like scare you. I just, when I'm hearing somebody talk about what she was talking about, don't ever compare and despair, but that's what I started to do. I was like, this woman is really making a difference. So I was comparing my own life thinking, blah, blah. <laughs> and so I told her that. And here's what she said, which of course like really inspired me. She said, Tony, what you are doing is the exact same thing that I'm doing. The, the, you know, the venue is a little bit different and, and the, the, the people that you're reaching, obviously the, the forum is, is different. But she said, you're doing it with integrity. If you're doing it with integrity, you make a difference. I was like, God, I never even thought about that. And so I started thinking about, well, what is, what is speaking, being, engaging, acting, being out in the world with integrity mean? Well, first of all, it's what the work is about. All I'm asking you to do every week in different ways is just tell the truth. Now, that's hard because we all have different levels of understanding the truth based on our own conscious awareness. Things that I thought were truthful for me in my 20s was, has nothing to do with, that was like scratching the surface. That's not a judgment. It's just like my own awareness about not being comfortable telling the truth has evolved, thank God. That doesn't mean that I still don't have problems being more honest. That's what the work is about. It's not to shame yourself where you're at. You're just always taking a look at, in this moment, can I be more honest? And being more honest simply means, with integrity, speaking, feeling, sharing what you're feeling. Even if it's not appropriate, correct, it's weird, it's shameful, those are all judgments you have about it. That keeps you from telling the truth. And then I started thinking about, well, God, dang, that is really what the work is about. It's just always trying to just keep being more honest with doing the best we can in telling the truth with where we're at. And then I started thinking about, well, what is, you know, it's the end of pilot season, some people booked things, some people didn't, some people went out, some people didn't. It could be really upsetting for, you know, actors on their journey. And then I started thinking, listen, beyond the job, because a job is one part of being an actor, but it cannot be, and it is not the only aspect of being a creator. So I started thinking about at this school, what is the value and purpose of acting and exploring what it means to be an artist besides booking a job or in addition to it? And I was thinking about this on the plane and I started thinking about the gifts of acting. Look at if you've been here or you've been in a class that's is actually asking you to be integrous. It shows you probably how much you've already grown as a person. That's an extraordinary reason to be in a class. It's expanded your knowledge. Think about who you were maybe three years ago. <laughs> it's made you more creative, and it helps you think about more things that you're capable of, uh, capable of doing now that you didn't feel you were capable of doing a year ago. I'll say that again. Being in a class that challenges you to change the way you hold paradigms about yourself means living in possibility, so you can start to think about I can do things now that a year ago wasn't even an idea in the cosmos. That's exciting! That's a reason to be in a great class. You can talk about real things with people. You have a different relationship with your feelings, and you can express them. 
That's why we take class, people, not just for booking the job. Let me end with this. Jobs are going to come and jobs are going to go. I work with all levels of people in all forms of the business for many years. Some people are, you know, this is the interesting thing about the illusion of jobs. I'm wanting people to book, but I'm, all, I'm constantly asking us to keep remembering the thing isn't in the booking. It's not. And the fascinating thing is, you can be the number one star today, tomorrow, nobody knows who you are. You can be on a huge show today, tomorrow it's canceled. You can be testing for a network show today, and then tomorrow you find out, oh, it went another way. You can be dropped for, you're, you're everybody's favorite at a huge agency, and then the next week they're like, yeah, no, it's not going to work. These things change. They're transitory. So what keeps you integrous to self when those things are usually used as the barometer? of how well you're doing in life. Here's the thing I want you to think about. Jobs are just experiences. They're just experiences. Think about it. You get a job, you're going to be on set, and you're working through your shit in an experience with other people. That's all a job is that hopefully you get paid for. But that's all it is. It's an experience anyway, but you are seeking it to give you the permission to do the thing that you are wanting to do. You don't need the job to give you the permission to be the person you can be creatively. That's mic drop. That's the truth. <laughs> Shift it. If you started to go into rooms giving yourself the permission to be, meaning, have the experience that you are gunning for anyway, you know the irony is? Is you're going to get the job. Now, don't start trying to do that in your head. <laughs> okay, that's what I have to do. Because then you're going to... It's really... Uh, it's just... Uh, the thing you're going for is the experience that you're waiting for somebody to hire you for. That's not it, to give you permission. It's not it. It's not the answer, I'm telling you. I'm telling you. So I just want us to remember that. I'm gonna end with this Jim Morrison quote. So that's what I learned from a climate scientist. That's what's so amazing to me. Like, God, that's like making me cry all of a sudden. <laughs> it's so amazing. Like, how, why would somebody think that climate science has anything to do with the arts? It's all connected, people. Being integrous. Jim Morrison said this. I don't know, I came across this the other day, some of my paperwork. The most important kind of freedom is to be who you really are. You trade in your reality for a role. You trade in your sense for an act. You give up your ability to feel, and in exchange, you put on a mask. There can't be any large-scale revolution until there's a personal revolution on an individual level. It's got to happen inside first. Kids, he's talking about integrity. To live a life of integrity is to work from the inside, being true to self.